while you're juggling your business and, and life, I'm here trying to learn how to juggle with juggling balls, just for fun. And it's been a, been a challenge to try to, to learn. I can get three or four before I end up dropping, dropping them. Um, it got me thinking about competency and how, what the path is to get good at something. Uh, so I want to take you through the four levels of competency today. So what we have is a combination of competence and consciousness. And we may be incompetent and unconscious as well. Let, let, me, let me explain how this all works. Uh, think about something new that you've tried, maybe a musical instrument. Let's just pick guitar. And you think, hey, how hard can it be? You see guys on TV rocking out. Hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that too, right? And so you're at unconscious incompetence. I mean, you don't know that you suck, right? And then you pick the guitar up, you try to make some sound, and it sounds awful, and cats are crying, and people are complaining, and stuff like that. And you realize you're actually incompetent, but you're conscious of it now. Now you know that you suck, okay? So you practice, maybe you take lessons, you get your guitar tuned, that always helps. And you, you work away, work away, and you realize you got to this point of conscious competence meaning you can play, but it takes a bit of effort. You have to think about it. It may not be as fluid as you would like, but you can actually do it. But you, got, you have to be thinking. You've got to be really focused on it. Otherwise, you're not going to sound good. And then we move up to the stage of unconscious competence. And this is where you're just like really good, and you don't have to look where you're putting your hand, and you can tune, and you can play quickly, and you can play all the different complicated chords, and you're just really good. But you kind of forget how good you are. You're just, it's been so long, you've practiced so much, you got to that point, you have a high level of, of skill. Well, there's something we need to, to recognize that as business owners, we're going through this, these four stages all the time. And there's actually a fifth stage, which is where we go from unconscious competence down to uh, unconscious incompetence again. And that usually happens when we try something that's related to, but different to what we're really good at. So let's say we become pretty amazing at, at guitar, and then you, uh, you try to learn uh, banjo or uh, ukulele, something similar, but you know, it, it's, it's uh, strung differently and all that, different chords. You'd find that all of a sudden, hey, how hard can it be? I'm really good at guitar. And then you realize, oh, actually, I do need to practice. I'm a little incompetent here. So how does this apply to business? Let's take, for example, you've got uh, someone on your team and you're putting them in a new role. They're actually taking over something that you used to do. Okay, So you're, you're delegating this, this task to them. Well, they might step up and go, hey, how hard can it be? unconscious incompetent and then when they try it they're consciously incompetent and guess what you're very conscious of their incompetence too right now what we this is as business owners this is where we get stuck because here's what happens we go oh man they're not very good at this maybe I've made a mistake maybe I better just take that back and do it say it with me do it myself right we're gonna hang on to it ourselves because they can't do it well think about when you learned it whatever the task was you probably start off unconsciously incompetent, had to get a little practice and realize that, hey, I'm not that good at this thing. Keep working away, working away, got a bit of skill, become consciously competent, and put your years or months of expertise and experience and, and training into getting really, really good, and you became unconsciously competent. And it's easy for you. So where does this show up? This shows up in, for business owners all the time in sales. If you're the main salesperson in your business, you might think it's really easy to get somebody else to sell. It's not so easy for someone new to sell. Or it could be with marketing, or it could be with client care. Um, it could be doing some of the installation work that you, that you might do that's a little more complicated. We have to have some patience with ourselves and some patience with our team when we're delegating because guess what? We might be in the consciously incompetent stage of delegating. We might be actually be abdicating, meaning just go do it. But remember, if you're, when you're delegating and getting someone to do a new task, they're gonna go through this whole cycle as well. So we do need to have some patience with them and realize that we, this is the point that we can't get stuck. If they're having trouble, think back, what do we do? How did we get good? What support do they need? What resources? What training? How much time? How many iterations of learning do they need? And recognize that if you can be the person, if you can work through your leadership incompetence, right? Let's face it, we all have at first when we're delegating, um, and your management incompetence, and be patient and give your um, your staff member the resources that they need, they will now have the possibility of becoming consciously competent at that task. Meaning you don't have to touch it ever again, which means you've got leverage and you've got freedom from that task. So you don't have to do it. You can do something even higher value or take the afternoon off or whatever it is that you want to do. So once again, identifying your business, where are you in terms of, uh, in terms of your team, in terms of your leadership and your management? your sales, your marketing, your, your customer service delivery? Are there any areas where you're in the incompetent stage that you need to make sure that you're getting some help through and not staying stuck? So 
Um, I'd love to hear about what you're working through, what you found has been an area of conscious incompetence for yourself. And maybe we can help you out through that and get you to conscious competence and to the holy grail of unconscious competence where you're just a total guru. So that's it for this week. And because I'm only at uh, somewhere in between conscious competence and incompetence, I'm going to keep practicing my, my juggling and I'll look forward to seeing you crap, next time. Ha, ha, ha.